Hello. Welcome to this Church of St. Mary, just after noon on Monday, March 16th. It's a strange time we find ourselves in with the coronavirus pandemic for the ways that we're seeing uh, much of our society under threat, to see uh, people who are vulnerable, to see their health uh, come under threat, and to see many things like schools and libraries and now churches have to close, at least temporarily. Many of you will have seen last night a memo from Archbishop Cutler on, uh, on Facebook or on the diocesan website, or perhaps you heard uh, through word of mouth. Uh, the memo said that uh, in keeping with many other dioceses and, uh, and churches across the country, Archbishop Cutler would be suspending public worship and public gatherings of any kind in the diocese until April 3rd. I believe that's a Thursday or a Friday uh, before Palm Sunday, at which point we will uh, we'll reevaluate and, uh, and we'll hear from him about that. These are, of course, very, very strange times, and it's a, it's a very strange time to be uh, facing this during Lent, a time that we're so accustomed to gathering together for studies and extra services uh, and, and prayer. Um, but it doesn't mean that we can't pray and that we can't be together. It's a very good thing to remember that uh, just because we're not able to gather together under uh, this roof or under the roof of St. John's Church, that we can still be together. We are, of course, uh, the body of Christ, the Church, and whenever we pray, whenever we join our voices together, wherever we are, uh, we do pray together as Christ's body. And so that's what we're going to be focusing on uh, over at least the next few weeks, and uh, God forbid, uh, perhaps beyond that, but, uh, but at least the next few weeks we're going to have to think a little bit creatively about how we will join together as a parish to pray, how we will continue to be a community, even though we won't be seeing each other quite as much, especially on Sundays, but at other times as well. One of the ways that we're going to do that is on Sunday mornings, uh, in lieu of our regular services, I will be live streaming a service of morning prayer on Facebook. And so uh, anyone who's on Facebook uh, and able to watch will, will uh, have the ability to um, join in and you can follow along in your prayer book at home. We'll make sure to post all the, uh, the readings and the, and the services and, and anything that pertains to that so that we can pray together in that way on Sunday morning at the very least. Also on Wednesdays and Fridays for the next two weeks at least, uh, I am going to be live streaming um, uh, the service of the litany and supplication. What the litany is, is uh, a very, very old form of prayer in which uh, we specifically ask, uh, ask for God's mercy. It's, uh, it's appropriate, especially through Lent, but especially in times of crisis like this pandemic or any kind of national emergency. It calls us to think about all the ways that we rely on God's grace uh, to sustain us in our lives, and it, uh, it calls us together again as one voice to, to ask for God's mercy. And so I'm going to be saying that litany every day, um, but we're going to be live streaming it on Wednesdays and Fridays uh, for you to be able to join in and join in with me. But again, I'll be posting all of this information online and you can join in with me uh, any day from wherever you are. Uh, our Bible studies and Midday Eucharist, of course, are now cancelled for the remainder of Lent, which is really too bad. But uh, the good thing is that our Lenten study was from the Society of St. John the Evangelist. It was the Signs of Life course, and the great thing is that they put a lot of their material online, and so you can follow along. Uh, we won't be able to get together to discuss or to talk or to, uh, to be together to talk about it, uh, but we can watch the videos, we can read their material, we can pray through it, and we can, uh, we can have it affect our, our Lenten lives, our Lenten journey uh, here in, in 2020. And as well, um, you know, there's a lot of other things that unfortunately have to be uh, to be put on hold in our parish in the coming weeks. And so, uh, council meetings will be put on hold. Uh, the Lenten lunches that are so much a part of the uh, the Lenten fabric of the communities of Summerside and St. Eleanor's uh, have been cancelled. Christian Council made the decision to cancel those, uh, which would include the one at St. Mary's uh, in late March. Uh, and as well, uh, the pork supper that was going to be happening here at St. Mary's has been uh, postponed until further notice. We're not, not going to cancel it, but just uh, wait until such a time that it is, uh, it is safe to have people gather together for that. For everything else, I, um, I just ask you to keep watch over the Facebook. Uh, there may be other new creative ways that we come up with to connect with you uh, over the course of um, this, this 
isolation and this pandemic. Uh, so please do keep watch. Keep watch on the website, www.stmaryandstjohn.com, where I'll be posting any kind of relevant information, updates, uh, news, uh, and, and watch the live stream on Facebook, where hopefully I'll be, uh, I'll be interacting with you a bit more this way. Uh, I invite you as well, finally, um, you know, in our response, thinking about our response as Christians and as a parish uh, to this, I invite you to pray. I invite you to pray every day uh, for, for God's mercy, uh, that we will be able to, um, that we will be able to discern God's will in these, uh, these dark times and in these moments, uh, and to see and understand the ways that God is uh, at work in us and at work in others, and the ways that God is calling us uh, to continue to be the church, to pray and to speak into people's lives and into this moment in, uh, in history and in our lives, uh, to, speak, to speak his love and his mercy and his grace into that. And so uh, I invite you to pray for that and of course to pray for those who are uh, afflicted by this uh, and those who may in the future become afflicted by coronavirus uh, and especially those who are working really on the front lines uh, towards healing and health. I bid you all um, a good day. God bless you and we'll see you soon.